Modern builders accept wood decay as inevitable. Decks are replaced every few decades, fence posts rot at ground level, and pressure-treated lumber still fails long before its promised lifespan. Yet Viking ships, homes, docks, and churches built more than a thousand years ago continue to emerge from soil and sea in remarkable condition. This durability was not accidental, nor was it the result of secret substances now lost to time. Vikings preserved wood by understanding how decay actually works and removing the conditions that allow it to begin. Their system required patience, observation, and discipline maintenance, not chemicals. Once this knowledge is understood, it becomes clear that many modern preservation methods fight the symptoms of rot, while Vikings eliminated its cause. Why Viking wood survives where modern lumber fails? Wood decays when moisture, oxygen, and microorganisms combine. Remove just one of these elements and rot slows dramatically. Modern preservation often focuses on sealing wood from the outside, trapping moisture inside and accelerating internal decay. Vikings approached the problem differently. They altered the wood itself before construction, then controlled how it interacted with air, water and soil throughout its lifespan. Their goal was not to make wood waterproof, but to make it inhospitable to fungi, insects and bacteria. How tree selection and cutting season determined longevity from the start. Vikings harvested trees in winter when sap flow was minimal and internal sugars were at their lowest. These sugars are a primary food source for decay organisms. By cutting during dormancy, Vikings reduced the biological attractiveness of the wood before it was ever shaped. Trees were often selected from slow-growing forests, producing dense grain that resisted moisture penetration. A modern application of this principle is choosing winter-felled timber when possible, and, you know, favouring slow-grown wood for structural use rather than fast-grown plantation lumber. Why long seasoning mattered more than speed or convenience? Fresh-cut Viking timber was not rushed into construction. Logs were left whole and seasoned slowly, sometimes for years. This gradual drying allowed remaining sap to oxidize and leach out naturally while preventing internal cracking. Kiln drying, common today, removes moisture quickly but locks sugars inside the wood and creates microscopic fractures that later trap water. For modern builders and survivalists, air seasoning lumber in shaded, well-ventilated areas can dramatically extend lifespan, especially for beams, posts and outdoor structures. How controlled charring turned fire into a preservation tool. One of the most effective Viking methods was surface charring. The ends of posts, ship planks and exposed beams were passed briefly through flame until blackened. This process converted the outer layer into carbon, which repels water, resists insects and blocks fungal penetration. The charred surface also reduces oxygen availability, further slowing decay. To apply this today, one can lightly char the base of fence posts or ground contact beams, brush away loose soot and follow with natural oil treatment before installation. Why pine tar and natural oils outperformed modern sealants? Instead of synthetic coatings, Vikings relied on pine tar, animal fats, and plant oils. Pine tar was distilled slowly from resin-rich wood and applied warm, so it penetrated deep into fibres. Unlike modern paints, tar remained flexible and breathable, allowing moisture to escape rather than become trapped. Viking ships were recoated regularly, building up protection layer by layer. 
Modern equivalents include pine tar mixed with raw linseed oil, applied in warm weather so the wood absorbs it fully. This approach works especially well for sheds, boats, tools and outdoor furniture. How Vikings prevented rot by redesigning ground contact. Rot begins where wood meets soil. Vikings rarely buried untreated wood directly into earth. Posts were seated on stone pads, gravel beds or hardwood sleepers that drained water away. When burial was unavoidable, the wood was charred and tarred beforehand. Archaeological evidence shows Viking fence posts surviving centuries longer than modern equivalents set in concrete. A practical modern step is elevating posts slightly above soil using stone or compacted gravel and ensuring water never pools at the base. Now, you might wonder, why did water storage actually preserve wood instead of, you know, destroying it? Well, some Viking timber was, in fact, deliberately submerged in cold water or bogs before it was used. These low-oxygen environments leach nutrients from the wood, while also preventing microbial growth. That's really why shipwrecks and old harbour structures can survive for centuries underwater. While this method isn't always practical today, the lesson is pretty clear. Constant conditions preserve wood much better than those cycles of wet and dry. So avoiding trapped moisture and making sure there's consistent drainage, well, that's absolutely essential. Now, let's talk about how breathable construction extended lifespan far beyond what any coating could offer. Viking buildings, you see, were actually designed to breathe. Moisture that entered could, well, escape through gaps, permeable materials and those natural finishes they used. This clever approach prevented the sort of damp stagnation that, you know, causes hidden rot. In contrast, modern synthetic barriers often trap moisture inside walls and beams. But by using breathable finishes such as oil, wax or lime-based materials, wood can regulate moisture naturally, dramatically extending its service life. Now, why did the Vikings treat maintenance as preservation rather than just repair? Well, they simply did not wait for failure. Ships were hauled out every year, inspected and retreated. Buildings were checked, you know, seasonally. Protective layers were renewed before exposure could even cause damage. This entire mindset transformed wood from a disposable material into a generational resource. Modern builders, honestly, can adopt this approach too by scheduling routine inspections and reapplying oils or tar before any decay begins. So, what does this knowledge offer us today? Viking wood lasted not because it was somehow magical, but because, well, it was respected. By combining winter harvesting, slow seasoning, charring, natural oils, proper drainage, breathable construction and ongoing maintenance, they created wooden structures capable of surviving for centuries. These methods, I must say, remain fully applicable today, especially for those seeking durability without dependence on industrial chemicals. If you value historically grounded knowledge that still works in the modern world, do consider subscribing to Ancient Know How. Share this guide with fellow history and survival enthusiasts and help keep these proven techniques alive for generations to come.